Hey everybody, as always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Now this is part three of assembling a presentation package for our drone clients. So if you haven't watched part one or part two, you need to go watch those first and then you can come up to part three. So in the first two parts, we have um, talked about getting our images and our video for one of our client locations, um, putting together an ortho mosaic as we do ortho mosaic before and afters. And well, let's just show you right here. Um, this is one of our deliverables that we do for our client regularly, uh, twice a month. So we just got a static image uh, from that day. Then we do a video, we do video time lapses and we just do video fly throughs showing the changes in the site. So we capture several videos while we're in the field and then edit them with Final Cut Pro to give us a final result here. Um, we also do a before and after ortho mosaic so that people can quickly see what's changed on the location. We talked about that in one of the earlier videos. And we also do include a new 3D site model for each one of our visits as well. So we usually use Web ODM or MetaShape to put together both the ortho mosaics and the 3D models as well. And let's scroll down. Finally, we also do a still image gallery. Now you're probably looking at this thing. Hey, this isn't pretty realtor stuff. No, this is the construction of the new community that we're tracking. So dirt and mud happens and things aren't always as pretty as the final images from the completed products. But as we get further along, we're starting to get completed homes and we'll be shifting gears for some nicer, prettier images for each of the locations. So in the previous videos, we've talked about the ortho mosaics. We've talked about the videos. I even showed you a quick pano generated all by the Mavic 3 Enterprise. And in addition, we also do these still image galleries. So I'm going to minimize this and let's just arrow back real quick so we talked about those ortho images we took a quick look at the panos those could probably fit into our presentation and there's our videos and there's the save files for our meta shape but so the final part that we do for the clients as well is we do stills around the site we highlight things of interest and also our clients will regularly request some additional images or additional video and in the case of this most recent visit which was just yesterday labor day weekend um, we did capture some additional images so i'm just going to open some of these you don't need to see all of these but uh let's go ahead and preview and all right i'm just going to do this really quick and let's take a look shall we so we uh we were asked to get the whole footprint of the project area and that whole footprint basically starts right in here there will be homes going in down here and there will be homes along this side as well and then expands into two um further along so i'm just moving through these so these are just some quick stills no edits to these yet they will be going into lightroom and in lightroom i'll make some minor adjustments and i'll select those that we want to present and we'll skip the ones that we don't want to present so some of them very little movement by the way mavic 3 enterprise um, on their very limited uh photo settings that they have so uh, this is a four by three aspect ratio. That is the Mavic 3 Enterprises aspect ratio. Also, you'll notice that there's no weird stuff on the edges here, but the Mavic 3 Enterprise does actually have warping. Uh, they've got a warp, de warping setting. And if you have that turned off, you get these vignettes around the edges of your images. When you're doing regular still photos for folks, I would suggest turning de warping on. When you're doing your ortho mosaic flights, it's going to be up to you. But um, if you have de-warping turned off, there are these weird vignettes along the edges. They have not impacted my models too much, but I have seen where they've caused problems in other people's models. So I'm just going to arrow through these a little bit more, and it looks like that set is done. And let's take a look at the next set as well, just to see if there's major differences here. And there really aren't. So... We just wanted to capture several different angles for the clients. They had a request from one of their engineers for some video flight over the entire area, but also some new additional stills showing the entire footprint of this new section of the community. So we're all the way over on the eastern edge and shooting back to the western edge here with Thumb Butte out in the distance. 
By the way, while we're out, while we're on location, the uh, controller was notifying us regularly of manned aircraft in the area. We did get our Lance permission, and we are familiar with a lot of planes flying through the area since we've got Embry-Riddle just a couple miles to the north of this location. All right, so that's about it for those. So I will be taking all of those still images. We'll be popping them into Lightroom, and then we'll make our selections on what we do want to use and what we don't want to use. And after that, we'll uh, get all those selections. We'll export a folder. And in the end, let's go back here. We'll have a gallery like this. Once again, this is not being given out to the home buyers. This is specifically for the uh, construction crew, for the general contractors and all those folks to see what's changed on their site. And this could be a longer presentation. We could introduce some 360s as well. And some of the other flights, additional flights that we've done for the clients, we have done some FPV fly-throughs of finished units, and we've done video walkthroughs, and we've done 360 tours throughout these newly constructed homes. And we also do 360 tours as the construction is ongoing to show all of the conduits, all of the electrical, um, all the electrical conduits, all the water conduits and sewage and those types of things so we do actually before the buildings are closed up we get 360 walkthroughs of those so that people will know where all of those things are so you won't drill a hole right into let's say um your water main when you're trying to put something um up on a wall for instance so there you go so in the end this is the type of product that we're going to create for our clients now what's going to happen next in this series is i'm going to go back do my video edits, upload all of the content that I want to use, and then we'll get into the See My Build website on how these things get assembled. Now, we do have a full-length course on web page deliverables, on custom web page deliverables like this, over at classes.azdrone.net. So if you want to see the whole thing, see all the pieces going into the website, and even if you're not a web builder, I think this class could get you on your feet and get you going with your own customizable um, presentations for your drone clients. All right, everybody, so we're gonna have a part four, and that one will probably be spaced out a little bit because I have to assemble all these things today. I don't wanna drag you through all the edits in Final Cut or Lightroom or anything like that. I think you get the idea. And then we will put everything together in part four of this series, and this series will be done. All because it's Labor Day weekend, I decided to do this. All right, everyone, see you in the next one.